I admit it. I've only lived in St. Louis for 37 years, but I'm a dyed-in-the-wool Cardinals fan. I'm frequently suggesting to clients that managing expectations is key to reducing frustration. Well, I guess I revel in my frustration as a Cardinal season ticket holder because my expectations are always high. Here's a team who was ten and a half games out of the wild card at the end of August. The bullpen had blown 20-some saves, and the franchise set a league record of hitting into 169 double plays. My beloved Redbirds looked more like the bad news bears. But somehow, in the spirit of my dad's third rule, always look in the glove, lo and behold, before the sun set on September, we were in the National League Division Series playing the team with the best record in baseball for 2011, the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, the Phillies are a team that won 102 games out of 162 in the regular season. Very expensive and very good starting pitching. Halliday, Oswald, Lee, Hamels. Pretty scary prospects. Manage my expectations? Yeah, I got tickets, but... Which brings me to the final game of that series. Somehow all tied up at two games apiece. Roy Halliday on the mound for Philly and Chris Carpenter for the good guys. I understand I'm not even sure how we got this far, but here we are. Their ace versus ours. What follows is what will be remembered as one of the greatest pitching duels in the history of the game. In the top of the first, the Cardinal leadoff hitter, Rafael Fercal, got a triple off of Halliday. But our second hitter, Skip Schumacher, got a double. The score was quickly one to nothing. But here's the thing, game over. Halliday and Carpenter went at it for another eight and a half innings. The score still ended one to nothing. That hasn't happened in baseball, playoff baseball since 1921. In an interview with Carpenter, he made his formula for success very clear. He said every year and every round of the playoffs, there's distractions all around. It can go from family stuff, clubhouse stuff, opponents, friendships, whatever it is. If you can't eliminate it on your day, you're going to have extra trouble. Well, notice his idea of distractions aren't necessarily obscure or out of the blue incidents. They're everyday connections that we allow to interfere with what's really important. So what's your version of winning a championship? What commonplace everyday distractions are causing you extra trouble? I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Boys, one, two, three strikes.